to activate all of Windows features, head on over to whokeys.com. Purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for as little as $16.93. That is a fraction of retail price. Use offer code IFR25 for 25% off. Copy your key from the user center and paste it here to activate. Alternatively, by clicking here, you can follow their step-by-step -step guide. You can now enjoy all of Windows features. G'day guys, Corey here from Designs by Far. Firstly, I want to thank you guys for watching this video and supporting us on the channel to you Patreons and YouTube members. You guys, we really appreciate you. You enable us to continue to do builds like this. This is our Battlefield inspired tank PC. This has to be the most expensive single PC that we have ever built, and it's also the most powerful. Inside of here we have the Intel Core i9 12900K CPU with two MSI RTX 3090 graphics cards. Basically what we did was we had two blurry images, right Amelia? Yes. Two of them <laughs> to build this PC. We, we did the whole design pretty much ourselves. Uh, all we had was two blurry images which I could kind of make out a bit of the body shape but I couldn't see any details on them or anything. So this is pretty much a scratch build that we made on the spot. It's all made from MDF wood, there's two compartments. The bottom compartment has the power supply and the two radiators. One radiator pulls the cool air in, one radiator pushes the air out, and we've got venting at the back for the power supply. Uh, the top, that basically houses all of the components and uh, there's like a motherboard train there which hides the cables underneath as well. This is the new MSI, I believe this is the Carbon Wi-Fi Z690. And then we've also got uh, Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM in DDR5, extremely rare. You can't get DDR5 anywhere at the moment. <laughs> and um, the whole PC is fully water-cooled with EK water blocks. And this is actually their new uh, Velocity 2 CPU block for LGA 1700 socket. There's a bit of a story with this build. We had the body already built and then MSI said, Corey, we want you to go ahead and use your other 3090 GPU in there. So we had two GPUs. The problem with that was, is we had an FLT120 reservoir from EK Waterblocks, which is meant to go in the back where the GPU is sitting. And now that the second GPU is in there, we have no room. So EK Waterblocks came in clutch, got us an FLT80, which you can see just in there pumping the liquid around. That's a DDC pump. And luckily that one fit, only just, like it's very close to the roof. But in the end, it all came together. We could still use all of the USB ports on this side. We only have one blocked off. And the, to access the GPU, we use a 90 degree display adapter. We hook up the display cable and it comes on the outside. It's exactly the same as this window, but on this side, and yeah, that's how we're able to hook it up to a monitor. So it's fully functional as well. Anyway, that pretty much does it. What do you think, Amelia? Any thoughts from you? Such a nice boat. <laughs> a nice boat. She's been calling it a boat ever since I started building it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very cool. It's actually nice to see you doing like scratch builds again. You haven't done one for a while. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed doing this. The only issue with doing scratch builds is it takes like two months. So if I was to do a scratch build each time, I could only get like six videos out a year. Oh no. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's where it's at. Anyway guys, we appreciate your support and hopefully you guys enjoyed this build. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is our all white PC. A few of you may know, may have heard, that Amelia and I were gonna be moving houses. And this is a perfect example of why I'm going to be moving. Cause we kick all of the shit on the floor. I just broke the monitor. Oh, jeez. I, I don't know what to do with myself anymore. This was our testing monitor, so we're gonna to have to get a new one now. But thank you to you Patreons and members because we can use some of that money to go towards a new monitor now. But let's move on from the monitor. Let's look at this build. I can't even remember what's inside of it. It was, an, I, built it. <laughs> it was an i5 uh, 12600K CPU from Intel, one of their new ones. And we have the Asus Maximus Z690 formula. This is their all white motherboard with the water cooling on the VRM. Uh, and we've also got water cooling on the CPU. It's all Corsair water cooling, and we have the White Strix GPU, and this is our first one, so we wanted to leave that on stock. We didn't want to water block it or anything. What's the point of getting a White Strix if you're just gonna water block it? Doesn't make sense to me. 
And then everything else, we just left it on RGB. We thought that looked nice with the white, and I'm sure you would agree, Amelia. Oh, yes. You love your this RGB. This is my idea. <laughs> <laughs> and I have uh, absolutely no idea what's happening with that monitor, but that monitor is meant to have this wallpaper, but I guess because we connected this monitor, it's stuffing up that monitor, and this monitor is also stuffed up, so we're just, the whole thing's stuffed up. <laughs> So that's this build in a nutshell. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, support us, please. You're gonna cry yourself to sleep tonight. I need to get a new monitor now. <laughs> thanks for your support, guys. What's going on, guys? Let me start again. What's going on? What's going on, guys? got an XPG build here. I can't even remember what's in it. It's been a while. We've moved houses. So when, when did we build this? It was like oh. a couple months ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's finally ready to be taken apart. We don't need this in anymore because we're not powering it up because I've already started pulling it apart. It's got water cooling. It's got XPG products. It's got a Asus Z590 uh, glacial inside with a 11900K. So it is 11th gen rather than 12th gen was an older build and it was done before 12th gen was bought out anyway you know, what do you think about this little little beast of a machine i love this motherboard the motherboard yeah, yeah. i want to try and get the z690 version i think it'd be cool just to have like the complete set mm -hmm. that'd be pretty cool we got white water cooling that's an rtx 3090 for our, that's the asus ekwb version so it comes pre-blocked it's only got two eight pin power connectors so it's not as power hungry as the other uh, rtx 3090s then we've got leon lee fans inside they're great because they just connect together pretty sure i talked about this in one of the other pcs but they just connect together there's literally two cables one that controls the power one controls the leds and we've also got xpg ram inside as well we've got two radiators for the cooling so there's plenty of cooling for the system but unfortunately right now it's ready to be taken apart so that's what we're going to be doing anyway guys i hope you are all enjoying and thanks for all the support g'day guys welcome back to another bts today we are here with our thermaltake aht 600 case that we just complete an all white build we have an issue though the ram currently in this board is not working well it's not the ram it's actually slots a1 and b1 of the motherboard amelia how do you think it turned out fancy case fancy case wow actually, well i decided to leave the top off because the top was actually sort of cutting down here and it was cutting off a bit of um the build and i wanted majority of the build to be shown Inside here, we have the Asus Maximus Z690 Formula motherboard. That's the all-white uh, motherboard, and geez, it looks nice. I'm so glad that Asus put out an all-white motherboard. And inside of that, we have the Intel Core i9-12900K CPU, and that is paired with the Asus Strix RTX 3080 graphics card. That has an active backplate on it as well. Don't really need an active backplate on it, but we had it on hand, so we put it on there anyway, just for the aesthetics. As you guys can see, all of the tubes are running parallel to a custom panel that we made for the front. We managed to put two 360 radiators inside, but as I said, we used the front to create this sort of parallel um, tube running design. And yeah, it all just goes to the front, comes back around and cools all the components. We also have the Thermaltake ring quad fans inside. These are so hard to photograph and, yeah. and film, aren't they? They like already they, look they, white here right now. <laughs> well, they're so bright. Yep. That's why. So basically, if we were to make them colourful, we'd have to turn everything else down. Mm -hmm. But then we would be, you know, not lit up enough. We need more lights, maybe. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's... Uh, majority of it and uh what do you think about the all white design i know you like white and rgb I do. it's nice and clean my yeah. favorite color scheme <laughs> yeah well we're going to be working on your new pc very soon so, so if you guys have any suggestions for any white pc cases let us know down in the comments below yeah please do i need <laughs> some help picking a case yeah anyway guys we appreciate your support thank you can we take a moment to look at the uh, shirt that you're wearing it's too tight. Look at the shirt though. I made that. I need a size up. <laughs> <laughs>
anyway, yeah, this is the designs by IFR 500K uh, special. Amelia is going to have a link down below for you all where you can, you know, if you did want to get one, it's completely up to you. If you just want to check it out, it's completely up to you as well. But she has a couple of designs, is that right? Yes, there's two designs. There you go. So we'll leave that link down below.